Hey, what's up, friends? I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Watch, um, just want to start this video by saying a huge, a big, 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 humongous thank you to all you guys who always have been clicking view on these videos that I've been posting up and always have been showing massive support, right? I just want to say a huge thank you for, a huge thank you to you guys. And man, we're right here. I'm still here in Trujillo, right? I'm still here in Trujillo. It's a beautiful day. You know, it, it rained a lot. Guys, how the weather look over the sides? It's kind of cloudy. You know, that place that you're seeing over there, it's just for oh, ay, ay, ay. This place right here, it's called Andrea's Hotel. Man, there's also a nice food there, right? Just by chance, if you drop in, a, um, if you take a visit here in Trujillo, please visit that place and trust me, you're going to remember me. That's the nicest food I've tasted so far here in Trujillo, you know, made with love, right? <laughs> Man, I just wanted to talk about something, right? And what I want to talk about is this. Man, there's this guy that I met. I'm going to start off with this. His name, he's a pastor. His name is Pastor Flores. I can't pronounce his first name that well. But Pastor Flores, he is a Hispanic guy who speaks very good, very good Garifuna. I was so surprised. I was walking with my mother, right? And while I was walking down the lane with my mother, I see this guy, he, he, he look at my mother. Hey, Ida Beata Naguto, you know, Magade Tiyong, sir. That means like, how are you doing, grandmother? Are, are, you, are you doing good? You know, you all right? Like we were like saying, a Creole. And my mama, she said, yes, Magade Tiyong, yes, I'm doing okay, you know. Gayano hey to busa garifuna. Oh garifuna tena yano habe, you know, and he said like man, yes, he speak garifuna, yano atina garifuna asta. Nira here yano atina garifuna and I told this guy instantly, man, can I get an interview? And he was like, sure. Right? And so check it out, man, just check it out. I will talk less, man. Just take, check out the videos and see for yourself. Hey hey guys, man, I have a surprise for you guys. I'm here in Honduras through here, right? In Trujillo, Honduras. Uh, and I met a good friend and this guy, uh, you will be surprised, he speaks Garifuna better than me, right? You know, I have no matter how much I have, I have to do my Garifuna, so good now, right? Uh, you can't talk here? No, 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 Okay. First of all, I learned a lot from this guy, man. I got to learn that through here in Garifuna is Sugabio. Sugabio. That's through here in Garifuna. Habide te bugano wago gayano adiba Garifuna. Ibuite mati be Garifuna sugo now. You know, bite mati bayano hani. And me aba dumere le barengo dale harengo moto um. For example, Ubafugo. Esposa. Esposa. Ah, no bafugo. Ah, no ba twins. Uh -huh. Afugo is spirit. Yes, it's When you spirit. say in, in the, in the Garifuna language, wife, you are telling uh, the, the, the twins of my spirit. Oh, the twin of your spirit. Yes. Wow. That's very, very unique. No ba fugu. No ba na fugu. No ba. No ba. Okay, no ba na fugu. Yes. Yes, <laughs> Ellos me están saben, perdiendo, están, están perdiendo, sí. Ellos sí, nos... hablan garífona, mis hijos hablan garífona. Oh, ok. Porque yo tengo dos, él habla garífona y mi hijo José, José David también habla garífona. Él habla garífona también. Ellos están eh, en Pelos, allá es, estudian en la, en la universidad. Oh, ok, wow. Pero ellos sí, estuvimos pastoreando el club. Okay. And he also mentioned that his kids they learned Garifuna because he sent them to study. They're studying uh, it has their studies has a has a lot to do with the ministry because remember he's a pastor, right? Gracias, gracias para este video. Yeah. Yes, man, it's just a bendiga. 
Yeah, I see all these things, Gary, for now. That's why they said he said for God to God bless you. So, they didn't they didn't have a boom, right? Me, I have to ask the man. For now. Los Angeles Latinos. Yo me llamo Naum Flores, soy para de la iglesia aquí en Trujillo, Honduras. En Trujillo, Honduras. Sí, y está el camino va perfecto, Garifo Nazo. Ayo. Now, since you guys have checked out that video, my next update for you guys is that, man, I, from since yesterday, I walked the beach here in Trujillo. Remember I told you guys in the first video, the, the first time when I came here, I was like about 12, 13, the next time it was 17 years old, and the next time at the age of 23, I believe, you know, and now from since 23 years old, I'm back here. So, man, I always used to have in my mind, like, um, the memories that I used to have of when the fishermen, the Garifuna fishermen, they used to go out to fishing. Man, these guys will go out to fishing and whenever they come in with their catch, the, 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 I was just going to say the villagers, but this is not a village, it's, it's a town, right? So the people from Trujillo, they will, they will just rush down and buy the fishes, you know, and you will see the people in, in bulk, man, and just to support these fishermen and buy the fishes. And I just understand that that no longer happened. Hey, hey, hey. Man, guys, I'm really disappointed. Took a walk out to see if I could see any Garifuna brothers doing some fishing. You know, because I'm the last time when I came here to Honduras, it has a lot of fishermen and men, and that a cultural I want to showcase. I really want to showcase that. But I came. And everybody must be cool, contented in the house. No fishermen. Most of these fishermen, they have passed away. You know, rest in peace to all of them. But I was really, really, really hoping to get these clips on my video so that I could have shown it to you guys. And I really wanted to include this in my music video, man. And with that said, I just want to say, man, it's just sad that the younger generation, the younger generation, they no longer want to take part, part in learning these trades, you know, and these are very, very important trades, right? They don't, they don't want to smell like fish again. They, 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 they don't want to get dirty, so they no longer want to go to the farm. They don't, no longer want to go to fish. And the sad part is, like a lot of people, they're gonna get. Uh, yes, they want money, and they do some negative things to get money. So, I guess all the Garifuna communities, they're suffering the same thing. That one, the traditions, the culture, is dead, and two. The, the younger generation, men like they walk down one negative path. So that's the same thing where they have, where, where they happen down here. And the people, the few people where they walk towards success, they mostly think it's just to sit in an office that's, that's being successful in life. And they forget about the trade that we learned, uh, that our ancestors used to do, our parents used to do. You know, so like, uh, man, it's, it's just so sad, man. It's just so sad. But at the same time, it just further motivates me because, man, I want to continue with my song and because the song is to send a message and the message is for the younger generation to learn these trades you know not afraid for be fisherman man because the people where the be fisherman shout out to the latino people are shown in the videos right now because this are videos a few videos they show up by the screen but they have some a guy that i spoke to i want to i want to show him man <laughs> Okay. No, it's it's a cambio todo. Cambio, go see, man. It's triste because me bugo ya ya na lo ya bugo lo na ri ya bagari funa because estoy haciendo un música paranda y busqué tu na bugo na rufo de nelia porque yo recuerdo cuando yo era pequeño dale me han ya bebe ya na ri ho baya garina go ya beba mucho temprano lunga lunga ganja rubio ama que garina go. Pero Marín, no me tiré a ver nada, ¿sí? No, 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 tal vez, tal vez, porque el lujo mujer es muy mala da, no jodió, o sea, muy bien, pero... Casi bien, yo tiré a ver que yo estoy poniendo en NASA, ¿sí? Pero yo tiré a ver que yo estoy poniendo en NASA, ¿sí? Ok. ¿Qué es lo que es? ¿Qué es lo que es? Balicina, ¿no? Oh, oh, oh. Si yo soy un artista de allá. Oh, oh, oh. Sí, man, pero también me mi abuela es el... Daddy. Basel, Basel, Baselis, I go out to Hetua, then I go out to Daddy. Oh, uh huh. Okay, bueno. Come on. You know, for those who don't understand him, 
you know, like uh, he's just explaining to me that the, um, the fishermen, they have passed away and now it's mostly the, the Hispanic people who are doing these trades now. So shout out to the Latino people as well because, you know, they're hard, hardworking people, right? Hardworking people and I would love, love, love to encourage my younger generations, my younger brothers and sisters, when they learn their trade, they're not afraid to learn their trade. Trust me, I win money in their thing. So. Jobs when nobody else know how to, trust me, Uno will win money in their thing. So. And people in our culture just learn how to value these trades. Value where we do. Please, because one thing I noticed by in our culture, that when other people they do something, we go in the Chinese, we go in the, uh, the Spanish people, them, uh, we are support without any complaints. But when it comes to your own Garifuna brother or sister, you are beat down the price. You complain about their price or you find ways to take advantage of them. Yes, I have been through this even in my music career. I put a price on my art and people, they try to tend to bring down my price. They try to devalue you. And you know, they would pay more for people who come from outside. You know, the people in our culture, my black brothers, my black sisters, my Garifuna brothers and sisters, you know, even my Belizeans in a whole, make us stop this thing, amen. Make us support each other. Please feel free to comment below and let me know where you are watching from, right? So I could big you up and I could always big you up in the next video, you know? Like last time we had someone all the way from uh, Chicago, one from Colorado. We have people from Piney, Punta Gorda. We also have people all the way from here, from Honduras, who was watching the, the video. We had um, also one from Miami. And so these people, they definitely reached out to me. So please comment where you're watching from. And man, I just want to keep these videos coming and I want to keep it alive. And trust me, I will respond to you guys. Guys, no make with trades that got dead. Please don't be afraid to be a fisherman, a farmer, carpenter, whatsoever. Don't forget the thing. No, not that sort of thing. If you don't want to get to the papers, you want to study the thing, man. So big up on yourself. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Ciao. Mabuleta wa mega refuna